happens the moment you leave your earthly body behind and arrive in heaven? Are you curious about the amazing things God has prepared for you in eternity? Well, today's guest received a special glimpse into the heavenly realm, and he's here to share about his time there and what that means for us. But first, joining me around... I apologize for the little bit of the sarcasm. However, I know there's people out there that get emotional and they favor this. And with all fairness, I guess that's cool, but for other people, obviously, who don't take this seriously at all, not only is that statement, what that lady just said, from this Christian program, uh, would they actually prey on people's um, ignorance, and then they actually get them hook, line, and sinker into believing in something that only has empty promises. And I mean empty promises. So, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, if you actually buy into this crap, then I have a bridge to sell you. everyone once again this is dare to speak and in this video I just have to do this one I'm you know I really want to make a point out there that's why you know this is one of the reasons why I came up with a title dare to speak because I have to talk about this when there's bullshit out there that people are just um, being lured into, I just have to, I'm just compelled to do something about it, you know, to speak my mind and that kind of thing. I'm not trying to talk shit or, or whatever just, just for the sake of talking shit or just being, you know, saying stupid things for the, for the sake of it. I like to make a point and there's, I know there's people out there that support what I just said. And hopefully more atheists and agnostics will come forward, you know, more and support me on this one. There's, like, uh, I've been through something like this before, even when I used to believe in God. But I would get um, frowned upon, or um, they were, I would be treated with some kind of mild aloofness if I were to ask the wrong questions or say the wrong things when I felt that I have the right to you know to ask questions I mean how come God doesn't do this or how come this this is not talked about in the Bible how come this and that and when they don't have an answer a good enough answer for it then and I still I'm, I'm not satisfied then they just you know they don't want to bother to get into any kind of like uh, discussion with me and and, I, and at first I thought it was just because of them, they're not being Christian-like, and then I found out that it's, that's pretty much all over the place, especially with Christian fundamentalists and all that. Um, however, with all that being said, uh, I want to share with you this one also. Oh, good, and I love these programs. Look, I'm already getting emotional. <laughs> but it's just, I was reading the notes for this show, and I just... I just love our God so much. Oh, I know. You know, yeah. and I'm... There really is a uh, place called heaven. There is a really place called heaven. And we have lots of friends and loved ones that are already there. We do. We do. Know that. We do. You know, and so it's going to be an awesome day yeah. when that finally happens. Yeah. But I, I love this. This is going to be an awesome show. 
and you could actually try to understand the uh, big time arrogant certitude of that. And it is an arrogant certitude. There is a place called heaven, and we're all and those of us that accept Jesus are going to go there. And they make it sound okay. It's it's nice. Okay, I understand. You want there is something that's you want to believe that there's something better out there when you die, which I do believe that. But I have a prob. What I have a problem with is um, the arrogant certitude of the whole concept of heaven and God and all that stuff like that. My point of view of God which I explained before, even in that one video, what happens when you die. Or I explained completely what happens when you die, and, and I, sa I even said before, this is, and I wasn't being, or using arrogant certitude myself, I was just saying this is just my opinion based on my own personal experience. It was based on that. But I never said this is what, this is what really happens, you gotta believe it. I never said anything, you know, to that extent, or anything, you know, to anything to that effect. So I just gave that person, that those um, viewers, a choice of what they want to believe. And with them, they they said, "Well, you do have a choice, but if you make the wrong choice, you're going to go to hell. You're going, you don't want to go to hell. You want to go to heaven. You want to be with Jesus." So they're being pretty much two faced about it. Uh, Christians like that are big time hypocrites and the whole concept of Christianity um, I sent in a, a question about well, what they feel about the Council of Nicaea and the corruption that, hand, that, uh, that happened there and how they um, came up with the real doctrine of Christianity from their point of view which led to the King James Bible and this and that um, the New Testament, I'm, I'm, of course, and I don't think I'm going to get an answer back. <laughs> I seriously doubt it. Um, you know, and that's just how it is. And uh, those type of things, I mean, you really got to, you got to really got to watch out for it. You know, this. Oh my God, it's, there's just you know so much crap. That they're they're trying to cram down your throat, try to mic you know how they try to uh, brainwash you into believing, uh, but they do it in a very subtle type of way, and I think it's very cruel. I think it's very deceptive. And most importantly of all, I believe it's wrong. There is nothing wrong from to see God from a different point of view. Now this is coming from an agnostic. Me, an agnostic. This is coming from a true agnostic. The true concept of God is really different. It's not the way the, the Bible makes him out to be. And it's not the way the King James, which is like the most corrupted person, you know, I mean, I'm not even going to um, get into that right now, but, you know, he was an evil man. There was really nothing good about him. He was, he was like the, the epitome of uh, evil. But he was, like, looked at as being, you know, this righteous man, and, and, and he wasn't. So, anybody, uh, if you like this video and you want to give it a thumbs up, you know, give it a thumbs up, whatever. And I, you know, I would really appreciate it if uh, you know, if you would share this with as much as you can, just to get my message through and stuff like that. You know, there's no obligation. I mean, it's up to you. If you don't want to, that's fine. You know, no big deal. But uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions, comments, again, you know what to do. And to all of you. Take care.